Hello, hello, hello. Terry Ann Hyman here. We are streaming over here on Natural Forces Studio on this two, 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 two day. Here we are. We're going to talk a little bit about life and death and infinity. We're going to bring in an awesome, 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 awesome healer, shaman, teacher, author, speaker, Hanaki. In just a moment, let me, if you can find us, we're over here on Natural Forces Studio and in the Healers Play Group. I am going to bring on Hanaki in a moment. I just want to tell you a little bit about how I met Hanaki and some of the work that he does. I have to admit, it's a little vulnerable story. Last summer, going through just so many changes, so much fear, so much COVID. Yes, I got COVID. And I really say I was in kind of a dark night of the soul. Like I couldn't figure out my purpose. I had been helping my parents. They were both gone. And I really didn't know where I was. And so I called Hanaki. I had been given his name through Cindy Dale. She speaks very highly of him in our groups. And I reached out to him and we talked. And part of what he told me, it was kind of in some way so simple yet so powerful to just be in that vision, to hold that vision of what I saw. And tonight, as we were talking behind the scenes, he like said, oh, yeah, I remember. And I'm like, yeah, it's all over my vision board. I am still holding that vision and I am coming out of that darkness and I am finding the empowerment of my own spirit. And so with that, I wanted to bring Hanaki on, talk, let him talk a little bit about his work and what he does and how he can offer this event that we do have coming up in our Advanced Healers Play Group. Just a shout out to Claire for all that she's done in the group too. There he is. <laughs> Welcome. Hey, Terry Ann. Thank you. Yeah. Well, actually, I want to comment on, on what you were saying about, um, you know, holding that space. That that's the thing to remain in that space whether it's a meditative space whether it's a spiritual space whatever you call it and everybody everybody has the opportunity to get there and it happens during the day sometimes maybe you're watching tv maybe you're driving maybe you know whatever just puts you in that calm relaxed um kind of reflective space and that's the thing if people can just stay there stay in that space but there's so many distractions in everyday life you know so many things that 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 pull you out of it but that's where the magic happens there was a time when um i was working in new york i'm in minnesota now but i was working in new york and a woman said to me how often do you meditate and i was about to say something snarky or obnoxious and then i was like that's the point that's it the point of meditation is to stay there that's why they create this, that space. That's why they create that emptiness. Now I'm going to give you an application to this, and it's pretty, it's a pretty intense application. So, the whole thing about meditation is that you're not supposed to react to anything, not people, not places, not things, not situations or circumstances, nothing. Hmm. You're not supposed to react to anything, and when you don't react. You get into an, an, an observer's standpoint. And if you remember from like, if anybody studies quantum, quantum mechanics, the observer affects the observed. So that's not just in particles or waveforms. It's whatever it is that you're looking, looking at visually, perceptively, mentally, physically, emotionally, whatever you have your attention on, you have that opportunity to make that shift. Okay, now I'm gonna give you an example. So today is, is it's a particular portal. Now that's the space I stay in, so I could always yeah. feel and always receive and always access. So no matter what kind of state I'm in, I'm always able to access. I'm always able to, and I, don't, I can't even call it tap in because I'm in. That's the point, to stay in. So the, the session that we're having on March, March 10th, I want to show you how time lines up, how things line up. So we have the 222 today. We weren't able to do it yesterday, but we're able to do it today. That's the access point. The next access point on March 10th, I was talking to, Te I'm not, I'm talking to um, Claire, and she was trying to convince me to do this because I haven't been dealing with humans for a while. <laughs> so Claire, you know, gave me a call. She said, do you want to do this thing? I'm like, nah, I don't want to do any 
no, no. And then I thought about it. I was like, what's the date? And she said, March 10th. I'm like, that's it. Bingo. That's the date. I had an aortic dissection, March 10th. And I, I'm literally, my chest exploded. I heard it pop. And it was like it, something exploded in my chest and I could feel it. I could feel it building. And and I and I and I ran down the steps because I, I called I called an ambulance. I ran down the steps and I started to hear it tear and feel it tear. Now the the pain was excruciating. And I started to laugh. And I laughed because I knew I was dying. <laughs> I knew I know that doesn't sound funny, but the thing about death, and when you know you're approaching death, it's another portal. It's, a, it's an opportunity to see things from a different perspective. So I'm in the ambulance and all this crazy stuff and ha happening and all these things are lining up. And the, 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 the ambulance drivers are saying, why are you, why are you laughing? I said, because I'm dying. And they're like, why should you be happy about that? And I said, and I, well, I couldn't explain it to them. You know, they were ambulance drivers, but it, it was the most magnificent thing. I was in a coma for two weeks and I saw everything. Oh, yeah. I saw everything. And it was like death was sitting right on my chest. Now, I, I have a great relationship with death. Death is like an advisor to me. It's like a friend. And I know that sounds morbid, but it's so awesome. I mean, it's such a part of life, but we it don't is. talk about it. Right. It really and is. And then those that are left from those that die, they go on and we're the ones in suffering. And that's what we know. Right. Exactly. Right? Yeah, but they do teach that if you face your death, I know Native America says if you face your death, if you can go through there, and many times that's what they use for the healing aspect. It's like exactly. face that death, right? I mean, exactly. Yeah. And see, that's that's the thing. If you don't face what you're afraid of, it's always going to haunt you. It's always going to follow you, and eventually, it's going to bite you in the ass. <laughs> yeah. So it is. So, it's true. Yeah. yeah, like that. Like I was saying when we started, like all that summer, we're having all that fear and fear and fear and fear. It's like I got to cut this. I got to do something, man. I got to get this out of here. And yeah. so the, the thing yeah. that's on the other side of fear is power. Hmm. And the same thing with death. On the other side of death is power. And we think life is one thing and death is something because we've been taught that. But it's completely different. It's a completely different experience. It's not the program that we run every day. I'll give you, I'll give you an example. After a certain amount of time at night, the program shuts down. You all are sleeping. I'm awake. Now, in our region, when that time is down, obviously in other parts of the world, it's, it's running because it's, it's daylight. But at night, the program shuts down. And if you're still enough, you can see everything. You can see how it lines up, the synchronicity, the the, the continuum, everything. And and that's the same thing. And I, I knew this, but it was different seeing it with death sitting on my chest. Mm. And it kept saying, Come, come, come. I was like, I'm here. I'm not, I'm not going. There's nowhere I can go. And I knew I was in a coma and I knew I was locked down and I couldn't move anywhere. And I was just like, What? What? And it said, Look. I was like, look at what? There's nothing here. And it said, look through my eyes. Mm -hmm. And that's when I saw it. Like, I, I knew it before, but it's different when you see it. And what did I see? It's freaking eternity. Death, life, it's something. Okay, let's say hypothetically. I know I sound really excited, but I am. Um, <laughs> let's say hypothetically that we designed this whole shit, all of this craziness. One time in, in eternity, we said, okay, we know we're, we're living and we're living and we're living and, and we're here as energy or whatever. What if we forgot? What if we created a, a space where we can experience all these different types of things? But the caveat is that we have to forget who we are in the journey of remembering. And what if I say, that I remember, and I'm here to wake you to hell up. It's time to wake up, realize, you know, we, we say that we're multi multi-dimensional beings, but we don't live it yeah. because we're so trapped in everyday life. That illusion, 
We're afraid of death, that illusion. So it keeps us from living. And I can tell you this from experience because I died so many different times. So many different things have happened to me. And it's not like I laugh in the face of death. It's just exciting. Even the excruciating pain that we grow through. And as a healer, we're here to help others go through their particular journeys. But what I say is to lean into it. Lean into the fear, lean into the pain, lean into the experience. Don't be afraid of it. Don't fight it. Become vulnerable and allow it to happen and just watch it. Like I said, with the observer affects the observed, there's nothing that can happen to you. And that's the thing. And that's another thing people are afraid of. They're afraid of nothing. So they always put stuff in that space that they need to be able to experience who they are. There's space everywhere. Yeah, I agree. I think that as I started to come out of some of that, and yeah, I ended up going, you know, to the jungles of Costa Rica to deal with the fear and like not even realizing like when I go to sleep at night, I my body leaves. I wasn't really aware of that, but I'd wake up in the morning with all that heaviness of the world. And so, yeah, I had to go pretty deep to find that and be able to come out of it on the other end, which is really just now, just really now coming back and coming back into the world. So I think what you're offering and what you're showing us and teaching us and and what I think the workshop will be about too is like right now is the time to make these changes. Right now is a time to drop that old self and to start right. approaching a way to really live. We've been caught in this box, right? right? <laughs> My take on it, totally. No, but that's it. I mean, it's like, we, we talk about living outside the box. What is the box? The box is the program that we run on ourselves every single day. The way that we're taught to think, the way that we're taught to feel, the way that we're taught to perceive, how we are supposed to experience life. We, we have to have this. We have to have these things. We have to do this. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything that you don't want. I, you know, and that, that boggles my mind. People will tell me what they think they have to do. And I'm just like, don't do it. See what happens. The world's not going to end if you don't do something. Just put the freaking thing down. If it's not edifying you, forget it. Yeah. Just let it go. But it's we're afraid. To- we're a society that is afraid. And if ever we've seen it these past two years... And maybe that's, the only purpose is to wake us up. I don't know, but that's the perfect. It. That's the perfect thing. Oh shoot! I was, that's my um. That's my um. <laughs> my <laughs> it is my, a perfect example, right? My, yeah. my Disney princess lip stuff. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, we have a um, few comments here. You have some people. Let's see. Hello, Hanaki. Yes, I did not say your uh, name. Hi, Carolyn. Right? I love you. Love from it's Mike and Carolyn, and yeah, everybody. and a Kim Wimby, she says hello, hi, it's yeah, Carla sending you some roses, Angie sending you a thumbs hey, up, Angie. so yeah, there we go, and that's just on StreamYard, but if you are on Facebook and you have a comment and want to let us know, just go ahead and put it in the comments, I'm reading them over here as well, I did see Claire coming on, so yay, give a big shout out to Claire, hey Claire, She's been hosting, there she goes, there's Claire, there we go, yay. Claire, big shout out to you. She's been hosting this advanced healers play group for a while now. It started in person, Zoom, uh, COVID changed it. And maybe this is one of the examples where something good, right? Because it came online, bringing more people together from all over. So that's very exciting. And as you said, Hanaki, the event is March 10th. Talking about, I forget what the title of it is. Forever, the practical application of infinity while experiencing eternity, understanding and remembering forever. Yeah. So that eternity. And during the play group, opportunity to experience a deep and abiding embrace of life, death and beyond. Come to understand the universe as it applies to us humans. Yeah. Right. That's the hard part, Hanaki. Hanaki. That's is. like really the hard part. Well, I'm, I'm gonna break, I'm gonna break it all down. I'm just gonna Yay. break it all down. We need that and learn to utilize the gifts of factoring in infinity and the magic of experiencing eternity. So that's really what we're gonna talk about. I'm gonna put the link here. Ten or eleven years, uh Claire Claire says that she has been hosting. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Bringing the healers together. What a great group. Really just a great group. So if you are interested, let's see if I can put that. um, So, so many amazing people. Yeah. 
really so many amazing people so there is the link to the program in the show for sure and even cindy dale's words it's kind of funny because you said a little bit about it um she says and i'll just read her quote i don't know if you saw this or not but haneke is one of my favorite people in the entire world he is laughter and space humane and sacrilegious he can be found everywhere and nowhere at the same time how beautiful is that he is a huge effing swear word and that person who will stop his busyness to wipe away a child's tear both sides that duality that two two yeah. energy right and interacting with Haneke for this workshop i can tell you what to expect and this will make him laugh expect nothing <laughs> as in the nothingness so yes we did talk about that Haneke's knowledge and model Haneke knows and model and, and models the need to remove all falsities and lies including your personal history to embrace and become your personal power when exactly. torn down we can build back up i mean this is just so perfect for where we are right now yeah. it really is for the energy for the astrology for all of that coming through right now perfect perfect time he also <laughs> presents as a poet artist and shaman musician coach and teacher he is going to take you on a tour of the universe so you can potentially uncover the universe that you are beautiful exactly. yeah so it would really be a fun night going through it, definitely join us. You don't have to have any experience. You can have all the experience. It doesn't matter. Come doesn't join matter. the group and be a part of it. Yeah. So what else can you leave us with? Well, you were about to say something about this whole COVID thing. COVID shut us down. Now, a lot of horrible things came out of COVID, a lot of death, but that's, that's another part of what we needed we needed to shut down we needed to be quiet we needed to be still life came back to the planet life came back to us some people fought against it some people embraced it look how much life came back to the planet look how many animals surfaced how much foliage surfaced how much air was purified if we just freaking stop that's all we have to do is stop. And I know it's hard to stop. So I tell people, pause, wait, then stop. Because it's hard for somebody just to stop it. Just slow it down and just let it all go. Because whatever you're holding on to is holding you. So I'll break all this down and show you exactly how to access that infinity within yourself and around you. And, and what that actually is, is understanding that you're not stuck in life, you're not stuck in death. And once you free yourself from that, everything is accessible. And nothing is holding you, nothing at all. Yeah, so just take that in. I look forward to the workshop. I will be there for sure. We're going to have a blast. We're yeah, going to have a great you. time. And there's questions that you can ask, stuff like that. Whatever you need to know, just ask it. And I'll just break it down for you. Yeah. So and you don't have to die like I did to get there. I, I took a hit for the I took a hit for the team. <laughs> no, we don't need that. And I've had a few of my own hits as well. And uh yeah. So being in that presence and holding that space and holding that life and balancing both of those and seeing that cycle, so important. So I'm very excited for the show. For the show, I was going to show you. Claire says oh, thank, thank you, you Claire. so much. Thank for you, workshop. Claire. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. We're waking up the dragon. <laughs> we need it. We need it in every little bit that we can do. Really, I'm every little bit. For you. I'm coming for you. <laughs> to start to move those scales up, start to balance the energy, bring up that consciousness, exactly what is needed right now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. Gratitude to the thank spirit, you. to the soul for all that you do for Mother Earth and for this beautiful two, 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 two energy. All Stay right. in the portal. Stay in the space, people. Stay in the portal to your spirit. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you.